So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today is time again for DAX Fridays and uh, today's function is called Union and what it does is actually append tables with DAX so it allows you to append tables you might think by the name that Union is perhaps a merge but it's not so append is adds rows and merge is like add columns I will show you so if you want to know how this works, follow me. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and let me show you, I have actually two tables for this exercise. One that is called IND and the other one is called USA. It, both tables have a country, a state, a count and total. So the IND table has three rows and the USA table has two rows. And what we want is one table with all these rows combined okay so the result table will have three plus plus two so five rows so how do we do it we do it with a function called union as you know already and if we look into the documentation it's like very very simple syntax you just union name of the table name of the table and that's all you need very very easy so let's go back here. Again, the results is a table. So what we're going to do is add a new table. So you can see union. And now just write the names of the tables. It's as simple as that. And here you have it. So the result as we expected is a table with four columns and five rows. Each of the rows are from these tables. Now, what happens if we add one table, one column to one of the tables? So we go back to Power Query. We are going to duplicate this. And here we're going to add A new column so that we're going to call quantity, for example. This we don't want. And now we're going to merge int with int2. Okay, and see what happens. We're going to try to merge. So again, new table. Now union two sounds like good not that union we want union and now as we said in with in two and it says that it has to have the same number of columns which it doesn't right because in has four and int2 has five so when it's trying to merge that it doesn't know what to do with quantity because it's not available on the first table now power query handles this very well because what it does is it just adds a quantity table and then it adds nulls to in in here right because there are no values but dax does not know how to do that so that is a difference when you're doing appends in uh, Power Query or DAX. Now let's do another experiment. What happens if we're going to copy the same table, but in this case, we go back and we're going to change the name of this one. And it's called amount. So we import this from another table and it said amount instead of uh, total. Let's go in here and we change that also to amount. So, and now we're going to append int with int3 and see what happens. New table, union3, union and then end with end three, right? What do you think will happen? 
Did you see what it did? So ignore the title and just put it in there. Now you might think, it, did it happen because it was the last column of the table? Well, let's go and check. We go in there, we go in there. And this we're going to call it count or something completely different. Why not? Quantity. So here you see it completely ignore again the name of the column. And you may wonder, okay, why is it doing that? If we go back to the documentation, you will see here that it says the tables must have the same number of columns. We already know that. And the columns are combined by the position in the respective tables. The column names will match the column names in the table expression one. So what that means is whatever is in end, that means in the first table you choose, that's the titles that you will get. So let's see that in action. We go to new table, union. This is our fourth union, union. And now we're going to get three first, in the three and then in the. You see what it does? It just takes now amount and quantity as a column instead of um, instead of count and total. And now this is quite interesting because if you can see it actually mixed the counts and the totals. And that might be because we changed the name. It changed the order. It changed the order loaded. You see? Hmm. Interesting. If we go back. So here you can see, oh, that's quite interesting. That's quite interesting. So that is actually something to look out for. So the order that you, you must, must make sure to understand the order that you have this in, that it is correct when you're actually making changes in Power Query. As you can see, it changed completely the order. And that's not so good when you're in the union because DAX is ignoring the title names and it's just going for the position. And because it changed the position, we're getting the wrong results. So something to watch out for, actually. I, I didn't know that, but sometimes it's good to play, so so you learn. Okay, so I really hope this was useful for you. You know now a little bit more about this function, and uh, this is all for today. Okay, so this is all for today. If you like this video, just please let me know by liking it or by sharing it, if you know anybody that would like to see it too. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions about the video, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Don't forget to fill in the DAX Friday survey. I am in desperate need for some inspiration of new DAX videos. I don't have a lot of time to do complex DAX yet, uh, now, but uh, I, I will as soon as my schedule frees up a little bit but if you would like to know you know just the, the raw functions i definitely do have time for that so let me know in the survey and have a fantastic weekend on friday
Take care. Bye.